I'm not quite sure why I've been invited to this. Um, it's, um, the Butchers Club, I mean, it's, it's a chain of restaurants. Um, it is what it is. Um, we've either done something creative, I guess, or we've just done something really quickly. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, the talk that I'm going to say today, it's going to be off the cuff. But I'm going to kind of make it up as we go along. If you want to stop me and ask some questions or challenge me, please do. This can be interactive. Um, so, don't worry about stopping me. Um, I do want to introduce um, Eric Passard, who's my partner in crime, um, guy there. Um, he's he's my, my the founding partner along with me from Canada. And um, he's the guy that's made everything possible from a food standpoint. I guess I've made it possible from a marketing um, or a branding standpoint. So anyway, here we go. Let's, let's go through this. Um, the Butchers Club, we have... At the moment, four brand, five brands, um, the Butchers Club Deli, Butchers Club Burger, Steak Fritz, an online store, and a catering company. Um, so as I said, it, we, we've done it very quickly. We started this operation 19 months ago as a small private kitchen in a, in a beat-up warehouse in Tinwan in Aberdeen. Um, at present, at the moment, we've got seven concepts, five restaurants, a retail store, a restaurant in Bali. Um, it says over 100 employees there. We did it, myself and Eric did a count. We've actually got over 150 employees, which in 18 months is, uh, I guess it's no mean feat. And these are, these are these are some pictures of what we've what we've opened. Um, Butchers Club Burger, the deli, that's our food truck in the middle there. It's called Black Betty, which we, we brought from France. Um, 1967 Black Mariah, it's actually an old police van. So, if you were naughty in, in France, in Marseille, in the 60s, then you'd probably been taken to prison in that. Um, Steak Fritz is the one with the red lights. You might recognize those red lights. They're, they're actually traditional butcher's lights in, um, in Hong Kong uh, butcher shops. That's our store, and then the, the, on the bottom right is the original um, butcher's club. How did we achieve this so quickly? Um, as I said, I'm not 100% I'm not sure how we did, but here are some ideas. We created a unique brand. It's homegrown, it's from Hong Kong. I think we put our personality into it. Um, it's product driven. We, 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 we use traditional values, honest, it's reliable. I think we show integrity. It's very interactive. It's got mass appeal. It's, it's young people, it's old people, it's families, it's corporates, it's expats, it's locals. Um, we, we, we spend a lot of time, effort and thought in graphic design and making our brand um, have, have a wide appeal. And, and something, you know, a modern thing that, that we're, we're, we've, everyone's learning this as, they go, as they go along is social media and relationships with the media in Hong Kong and internationally. How do we engage our customers? Education. Everything we do, if you come for dinner to, to one of our restaurants or you come into our butcher shop, we're talking to the customers, we're explaining to them how things work, how we do stuff. Um, we do cooking classes, demonstrations, um, we, we do education through the, through the media. I think everything that we do, we have, we have fun doing it. Um, the moment we don't have fun is, is the moment we close the shop. And um, we, 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 we do enjoy, we really do enjoy what we do. We have passion. Um, we do a lot of family events and mass appeal, and I think you can feel that. I think you can hopefully taste it in our food. Here are some of the um, some of the events that we do. There, there's me on the left um, doing a kids' sausage class at a, at a farmers market. Um, at the top, we we hold, we hold our own farmers market, which the kids come for free. There's a picture of Ned there, and there's a picture of Ned naked. Um, <laughs> Funny, funny story, one of our food trucks, there's a picture of Ned naked on the roof. He doesn't, he's, to this day, he doesn't know it's there. <laughs> so, anyone looking down sees, sees it. Um, we have a multifaceted brand and concept. We embrace retail, education, media, food service and technology. How did we build our brand? How did we build it so quickly? Um, 
we entered into the community, and as you saw from those photos, every weekend we're out there engaging with our customers. Every day of the week we're talking to, to our customers, uh, whether they'll be in our shop, in, our, uh, in one of our restaurants, online, we, we, we really do promote that. Social media, this is something I, over the last two years I, I've taught myself a little bit about it, and um, you know, some of our social media posts uh, are reaching upwards of over, over 250,000 um, engagements per, per post, which is amazing. And, and what's fantastic about Hong Kong is it's such a small, tight knit community. Social media is perhaps the most effective way of getting that message across of all of them. Facebook, Twitter, we hammer them. We actually we, 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 we drive we drive our message through that, and it, it, it spreads like wildfire. Particularly if it's got humour, if it's funny, if it's got that educational content. Um, we use some unique props, and I'll show you some pictures of those. We partnership with other brands, such as Timothy Alton. Um, Timothy Alton's a furniture manufacturer in 15 countries. Club Monaco are also in about eight countries. We do a concept called the, a Burger Takeover, and we work with a beer brand called Peroni. Um, this is a Burger Takeover, a little video which we're going to show you where we invite a celebrity chef to come and take over our restaurant for a day. Brakes really did fail. <laughs> My name is Roger Delion, and I am the founder of Little Borough Hong Kong. I'm standing here at the uh, Butcher's Club Burger in Wan Chai. Little Borough is doing a badass Borough Burger for the Butcher's Club Burger Takeover. Uh, we're at the Butcher's Club. Let's do it. going great you know we've had a couple of orders and every single person has said that it's almost better what no they've said it's better um, I can't lie I can't lie to yourself yeah. uh, Roger welcome to uh, Butchers Club Burger Walk Drive I hear we've got some sort of special burger on the attic so today uh, we're doing the badass burro burger and we start with an achiote bun Top that with our classic paracho beans, which are pinto beans made with beer and bacon. Burger patty on there with uh, that seasoned with our special barbacoa seasoning. And then salsa verde, which is our special hot salsa from Little Borough. And dude, there's so much on it. On top of that, we add homemade guacamole, our fried chips, and that's it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Someone's getting a treat right now. Everybody said that it's, uh, it's been an amazing burger and it's a little bit different from what these guys have done before, which is fantastic. And I know these guys are trying to do their burgers very organic and very gorilla grassroots, so I feel like we have a lot of things in common. We've been talking about something like this for a long time, so happy you guys finally. And I mean, we needed a dishwasher, so. I definitely think that Hong Kong needs more collaborative things. Yeah, so um, happy to be here. For the burger takeover, 5% of our proceeds will go to Feeding Hong Kong, which is a charity that uh, Little Borough feels very strongly about. I do like what you about the steak and the town is for sure. Cut that. I mean, I've already said you guys. And all that. As a matter of fact, we're not doing any of this anymore. Let's start this interview over. Where in Mexico were you born? <laughs> no one's gonna watch this anyway. We <laughs> <laughs> did. Um, what's interesting about about that is, uh, again, we, we 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 made our own video, a couple of thousand dollars to do it to edit it. Two hundred thousand people saw it. Uh, so you know. From a branding perspective, you don't need huge budgets, you don't need professional marketing companies, you can do it yourself and to, 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 with massive success. Um, for that, we, there's a couple of interesting points. You know, it was a collaboration between a small restaurant, 
Uh, that's Roger. We've done about 10 of these now with some, you know, really quite famous chefs and some little guys like Roger Delon, who will be a famous guy one day. I mean, you can see he's fantastic on film. But these collaborations, um, you know, they, they help us to, to build bridges. They help us to, to you know, back, piggyback on the back of his brand at the same time. So uh, I think the point is collaborate with different brands is, is good for you. Um, we do a lot of publicity stunts, um, block parties, we do free burgers, food truck, we get adding personality. This, this vehicle here is outside a restaurant called Socialino. They weren't very happy about this, but we showed up one Friday night at 7 o'clock to 400 people um, waiting for us, and we gave away free hamburgers out, outside this restaurant. Now, you know, they weren't very happy. They did call the police. I did get arrested. But, you know, from a marketing perspective, it was, it was pure gold. And, um, you know, people still talk about that now. So, again, you know, being a little bit creative um, can get you a lot of media attention. People in this town kind of like that cheekiness as well, a little bit of naughtiness. Pushing the boundaries a little bit, you can get away with it. And, you know, I was only in jail for two hours, so it wasn't. <laughs> um, you might have saw the hamburgers. Our food truck is actually outside, so there's a free hamburger for each and every one of you when you leave. That's not true. <laughs> so what's next? So, so as I said, in, in 19 months, we've, we've got from nothing to uh, 150 people with a turnover in excess of a million US dollars. I think a lot of it's been luck, a lot of it's passion, but I think the branding, the marketing, and, and Eric's fantastic food have, have all helped. Um, in the next 18 months, this is, this is what's gonna happen. We, we've got franchise deals in Dubai, UK, Singapore, LA, Sweden, Germany, Philippines. We're opening a retail line. Uh, we've got new restaurants uh, opening abroad, maybe an IPO, maybe global mergers. It just goes to show, you know, I mean, this is, we've done nothing really special. We've just believed in it, had our passion, and put a real quirkiness to it. And um, that's, that's my talk. And um, so I hope it was a bit useful for you. Enjoy your program.